Welcome back to Race the Clock, the time trial series on YouTube where I try to set the fastest time possible on a random track in just one hour. Today's track is one of my best in the entire game and my fastest time of the session is perhaps the best in this project as well. But before we get into that, let's check out what the wheel has to offer for us today. Alright, let's spin and see what today's track is gonna be. And it is... Mm, not Mario Circuit, it is Toad Harbor. Alright, nice. And this is the current world record set by Army A126.141. My PB is a 126.663, so I'm only half a second away. And this is actually a pretty recent PB, I got this three months ago. And I'm currently 9th worldwide here, so... Hopefully we can do well here, we will see. But yeah, let's get started by watching the World Record Ghost, as always. And I started the time a little bit late, but I think it's gonna be fine. But let's jump to the first attempt. Alright, here we are on my actual first attempt, and I <laughs> immediately messed up. But this is a special track compared to the last few, because the first three tracks I played, I all haven't time trialed in years. Like, I was super rusty on all of them. I had to kind of relearn the entire track. Um, because it's been so long, but on this track in particular, I don't think that's gonna be the case because I played this a couple months ago and I still remember most of the stuff I have to do here. Now my current PB is really good for my standard, it used to be 4th worldwide and 2 frames away from triple the best split, so very very good time for me, so I'm not gonna beat that probably, but uh, you know, maybe I can get kind of close, that would be sick. But yeah, for now I'm doing fairly safe and consistent strats. I'm not doing everything as optimal as I should, just to get used to the combo and the track again, just to get a feeling for this. And once I feel more confident, I am gonna go for some of the harder strats, at least try to implement them. Alright, let's finish our first run of this track. Okay, I missed like every Minitobo, but it's fine. A 131.8. It leaves a lot left to be desired. <laughs> My laps got progressively worse and worse, but I guess it's a baseline. I do guess we can work with this and my lap 1 is only 0.4 away from my um, Lap 1 from my personal best, so maybe that's a good sign But yeah, apologies if I still sound a bit weird today I am still sick just like in the last video and unfortunately it's getting worse and worse every day um, even like Talking is pretty hard for me. It kind of hurts my voice, but um, I mean it's only an hour So I think it's gonna be fine, but um, yeah apologies if I'm not as energetic as usual But um, yeah, the YouTube grind never stops. You know how it goes. So no excuses Wow, okay, that was very close I got all three coins for the first time in this session and it's always a bit risky to go for it in time trials you have to do it basically but uh, i'm surprised i made it there and that's a best split lab one as well a 0.7 it's only 0.3 away from my pb split so pretty good all right and i made the cycle let's go for the first time not bad not bad let's finish this run Oh, let's go. A 127.833 after 7 minutes. I cannot believe this. Just for reference, my PB is a 126.6. So it's only 1.2 seconds away from my personal best after less than 8 minutes. And I, I cannot believe this. But I mean, to be fair, I have played this just 3 months ago. So maybe there are still some skill left within me from back when I did grind this for a while. Oh yeah, my love ones are getting better and better. Um, that's my first point six love one. My PB gets a point four, so it's only point two away, surprisingly enough. But from what I've been able to tell so far, my lap twos and threes are quite a bit worse compared to my PB. So I really gotta work on those, I assume. Well, speaking of which, that's the best split lap two. It is still like point four away from my PB split, but honestly, a point six is pretty solid for now. This should be a really good run if I finish it. Alright, let's hope for a good ending shortcut here, please. Oh no, not like that. Oh no. Yeah, I really gotta work on that. My alignment was completely off, unfortunately. I really had no chance of making that. But hey, that pace is pretty good, I guess. It's only like 0.6 behind my PB, so let's keep it up. But another thing I want to talk about is the fact that 
Um, I am feeling pretty sick at the moment, and it's getting worse every day. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I make it sound pretty dramatic, but um, it, it is the truth. So I don't know if I can keep up the daily uploading streak um, in the next couple of days, especially since um, I do have a few IRL things I'm going to do um, over the weekend. Um, so I, I don't know if I will be able to upload daily yet. Um, I will try my best, of course, but um, please don't be mad at me if I don't, because, um, yeah, you know, I gotta take care of my body as well, and uh, rest a little bit, and also do the other things I have to do over the weekend, so, yeah, apologies in advance, I am gonna try my best, but um, if, if it turns out that I just can't do it, then, um, yeah, hope you guys don't mind. Oh wow, okay, that's the new best split right there. Of course, I had to fail immediately, but um, yeah, the only real thing that's, uh, or like the only thing that's going really well for me are the lab 1s, to be honest. My lab 2s and 3s don't feel that great, and um, overall, I would say I'm pretty inconsistent right now, but um, yeah, at least my lab 1 splits are getting faster, that's the only upside. <laughs> but yeah, as a perhaps more um, broad, um, summary of how the session is going so far. Um, honestly, it's going okay. Um, I, as I said, I am feeling pretty inconsistent, so I'm not finishing nearly as many rounds as I would like to, not finishing nearly as many laps as I would like to, and there's not this one spot that I keep messing up, um, like on other tracks where there was a certain shortcut or the shroom or whatever. The coins aren't too big of a problem here either for like the first time ever. It's just, I don't know, the general driving seems hard enough like that shortcut i guess i messed up a couple times um the the part where you um, have like the split path and you drive at the top and um, i mess that up pretty often um the shroom sometimes isn't that good but like none of them are real run killers i would say they just sometimes i mess them up sometimes i don't but because there's always something that can go wrong here i feel like i'm just not finishing nearly as many runs as i would like to and another thing is that it seems like my splits really aren't getting much faster right now, apart from my lap 1s by a couple of milliseconds, I guess. But my lap 2s and 3s seem to be pretty consistent um, time-wise, or split-wise, I guess. Um, which is kind of bad, because I'm still like in the time frame where I would usually improve pretty quickly and then um, get faster splits in basically every run, but that's not really happening right now, so... I guess let's lock in and fix that. See, like, that was a good lap 1, a 717, but it's not really much faster than the kind of split I hit 5 minutes into the session, you know? And we are at 22 minutes, so it's a bit rough. Though, to be fair, this lap 2 is pretty good, all things considered, so I might actually have a pace on my hands here. Easily cleared the cycle, and that is the best split lap 2 right there. So, I guess forget everything I was talking about <laughs> um, earlier, about not g g going faster and faster. Um, so, hopefully I can lock in and get the ending shortcut, which is perhaps the most um, important and hardest thing in this entire run, this ending NISC. Um, let's see how I can do it. Please, please, please. Okay, go wide, set up, and hop. And that was fine. I don't actually know if this is enough for a PB. Uh, let me check real quick. Okay, I did check, and my fastest time in this session so far was a 127.8. So this is APB by 0.3, and I am now within one second of my real personal best, which, if you remember, was a 126.6. So I am making progress, for sure. Oh, let's go. This is the run right after my PB, and I get a 0.618 level 1, which is another best split. So I guess, surely, uh, slowly but surely, I am getting a little bit better and better, but it's not by as much as I was hoping for, to be honest. Or, well, I guess not. That's another really good lap 2. So this is actually an insane pace right here. Let's hope I can clutch up and get a good lap 3 as well. Okay, please, please, please give me a good shortcut. Please. Uh, that was fine. And that is another PB. That's back-to-back -back PBs, I'm pretty sure. A 127.339 with a best split lap 3. Although, I've only finished like 4 lap 3 so far. So, it doesn't mean a lot. But, yeah, very, very solid pace with a best split lap 1 as well. So, really not too bad. Alright, forget everything I talked about. Because right now, I'm so consistent. This is like 2 runs later. 
than my last PB, and this is another sick pace. Um, I, I have a similar lap 1 to my PB, which was a 0.6. My lap 2 is very similar, so I'm basically tied going into lap 3. So I just need to clutch up and drive a faster last split. And I can get another PB in like 2 attempts later. This is so dumb. Let's see, can I get another good shortcut? Go a little bit wide, play it safe. And... Mm, no, I don't know. No, not with that shortcut. I accidentally did a right hop. But honestly, 127.4 is still very, very good, so I'm not even too mad about this. I'm honestly shocked at how consistent I am right now. It's as if me talking about how inconsistent I am just magically fixed the problem and made me like really consistent because I'm finishing like every other run at the moment and they're all pretty good, so you know, I'm not complaining, but it is a bit odd. Alright, 30 minutes are over, or I guess 31 minutes, uh, which means the halfway mark has been reached. And so far, I'm feeling pretty good about this session. I mean, yes, I didn't get a real PB yet or whatever, but that is honestly kind of unrealistic on this track. But I am only 0 0.6, 0 0.7 away from my actual PB, which is really, really good. And, um, you know, I'm still improving a little bit every run, so I'm hoping I can achieve even more, which would be sick. Actually, let's see what this level 1 right here is. It was pretty good. Okay, 720, not the best. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the session so far. I hope I can get another PBs in. And um, I was kind of wondering what my goal time should be here. And I'm still struggling because it's it might seem obvious to just go for a 126, like a 126 period, um, which I'm a little bit over 0.3 away right now. But um, I don't know if I can get there. It seems so far out of reach considering how good my current PB is for my standard um, as of right now. But I guess I can try to get a 126. But I think this is the most unrealistic goal time I've had in this project so far. And I guess that's it for that run. <laughs> if you were wondering, I did hit that car by accident. I think a slightly more realistic goal time would be to try to be within one second of the world record which, if you remember, is a 126.141, so I need a 127.141 or faster, and I'm only 0.2 away from that, so I think that's a little more doable, but honestly, you know what they say, go big or go home, I'm gonna try for 126, even if it's gonna be difficult. I might regret saying that, <laughs> honestly, I probably will, but, um, you know, I wanna change myself, so let's try to get a 126 in. Oh, let's go. I mean, <laughs> that's a big best split lap 2. That might help towards the 126. Let's see if I can clutch up and get a good lap 3 as well. Okay, this lap was driven really well, I would say. I just need a good shortcut and this might be a massive PB. Please. No. Ah, oh, this shortcut is so annoying, man. Look at this pace. Do you do 639 and then a massive best split with a 531. This had a lot of potential. If I had gotten a sub lap 3, I could see myself getting a point 0.1 with this run, honestly, so <sighs> that hurts. But let's keep going, I guess. Now, there is actually one more strat I haven't gone for a single time in um, this session. That's the strat right here with this little mini turbo right there. It seemed a little scuffed because it was. <laughs> I didn't do it correctly, but that's the basic idea. And um, if you do it properly, it does save a little bit of time, maybe like 50 milliseconds. And my real PB does that, but I don't know if I should go for it in this session, because I remember being very bad at it, very inconsistent, and that it was basically not worth it to go for, for me, because I struggled with it so much. So I don't think I should go for it right now either, considering it's only 50 milliseconds if you do it well. I think I'm better off just playing it safe and trying to get as many runs going as possible, getting better at lap 2 and 3 and saving time that way instead of wasting my time and my attempts doing that. And well, while I was talking I actually got a best split lap 1 there with a 0 .606 so that's pretty sick. Nonetheless I feel like I do have to optimize my driving quite a bit more because if I do want to get a 126 which I would love to get then um, I just need to play a lot cleaner, a lot better. Like the consistency is there, my lap 3 shortcuts are there sometimes, but I just gotta play a tiny bit better to make it possible. I'm not sure if this is pace or not, I got a 0.68 lap 1 and a 0.64 lap 2, which is roughly the same as my PB's pace, but um, the lap 3 in my PB is pretty good, so I need a really good shortcut in order for this to be a new PB. Let's see what it's gonna be. 
Um, please get a clean ending shortcut. Please, please, please. Nope, of course not. I'm so bad at that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering the last quarter of this session. And as always, this is the most worrying section because the end, you know, of the hour comes closer and closer. But this is also where I'm usually the best because, you know, I've practiced for 45 minutes. Now I can use all of that practice to get a new PB. But there's always the mental factor to it, knowing that every show hurts a lot more because you're running out of time makes this very stressful. But I'm gonna try to lock in and get one more PB and that's my little goal here. But of course the big goal still remains to get a 126 somehow. <laughs> also it seems like the really good consistency I had earlier for a couple minutes has run out. I am not super inconsistent, but like I've only finished like a run or two in the past 10 minutes I think so. Yeah, I'm not as consistent anymore. I am making a lot more small mistakes. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe because I'm trying to push myself to play even better to get a 126. Or because I just had a lucky streak there where I was super consistent. I honestly couldn't tell you. But I'm going to try to lock in for these last 10 minutes or so. And just hope I can get another run going. But it's been looking tough for a bit now. Okay, this is another really good run. Oh uh, no, I should just stop talking, dude. I had a low 0 0.6, a 0 0.619, and a near best split lap 2, or maybe it was a best split, I don't remember. It's very, very close. And I failed the beginning of lap 3. That is so cursed, man. I was so happy to get another run going, dude. But, dude, it's actually crazy. I think I got my um, best run of this session, like... 25 minutes into it like after 25 minutes after I started the session I think I got my current PB and now I'm at 51 minutes more than double of the time and I still haven't beaten it <laughs> I mean, I think I got a point four um, at some point which was kind of close But the low point three I've gotten uh, like 25 minutes ago still unbeaten. It's a bit frustrating. I'll admit I guess on the bright side though. I am getting a couple best split lab once in which is fine um, but yeah, it's just not enough. I mean, what's the point in getting lap 1 best splits if you can't finish a run? I mean, I, I can PB with just lap 1, so this doesn't really help me that much, but it's still a little um, dopamine rush, a little motivation boost that I so much need here. And now there are less than 5 minutes left, and it seems worse and worse for me with any passing second. And the thing is, I can't even like report on any highlights or any like good runs I've gotten in the past minutes because there's just not anything. It's so sad. I mean, okay, to be fair, I am getting a couple of runs going. Like I usually get a low point six lap one and then drive a good lap two, which would be like a point five and then I fail the ending or something. But I just haven't gotten like another run deep into lap three or to the ending shortcut, which sucks a bit. Like this run, for example, a high point six is fine, I guess. It's not the best, but it is PBable. Now this lap two, if I do it well, is gonna be a mid point five. Then I'm gonna be tied into lap three, and then I'm just gonna fear the ending shortcut. So it feels tough, but I guess let's lock in because maybe there is potential here. This has to be like a mid point five in order for this to be pace, but oh maybe. Nope, low point six. I don't think that's enough. You see, I'm behind of my PB now, so I need a low point zero lap three, which I've never gotten before. But you know, never say never. Let's see. Don't hit this train right here. Okay, looking good. I know it's technically not a train. I think it's a tram, but uh, you know what I mean. And that was solid. Let's nail the shortcut here. <sighs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that had PB potential, and then there's just the ending shortcut, which just completely ruins me. It is so garbage, and <laughs> I hate the fact that I have failed so many runs in my life to it, but I guess that is the nature of Toad Harbor after all. Ah, let's go. Another good lap 1. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen a point five. I did mess up the lap 2 beginning a little bit, but this might still be point five able so let me lock in, please. Alright, let's see. This is... Oh no, a high point six. Why is this a high point six? Ah, uh, okay. I need a low point zero now, please. Okay, this lap three was actually driven well. Let me just get a good shortcut, please. That's all I'm asking for. No, <sighs> dude, I can't with this track. I think that's back to back runs that got to lap three shortcut on pace. And now with one and a half minutes left, 
It's gonna come down to the wire again. Am I right? Come on. Okay, this is another good run. I got a 0 0.608 lab one. And um, the timer is at 59.20, so... This basically has to be it. Let's see what this lap 2 shortcut is. That was pretty solid. A 0.638. And now I'm basically tied with my PB once again. So this is gonna be back-to-back-to-back -back -back runs into lap 3 shortcut, if I had to guess. Let's hope I am gonna make it this time, though. I don't think I have time for another run. So this is the last shot. Please pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Moment of truth. Of course. I am not surprised. <laughs> this shortcut is so brutal, dude. Three runs back to back to back that were on pace into the lap three shortcut and all of them failed. I, I don't understand how I was so good at it at the beginning of the session. Like, I think I nailed it every single time I got there, at least decently well. And ever since my... 0.3 PB early in this session. I haven't gotten a single good ending shortcut. That's so frustrating. But still, I don't want to be too mad, even though I haven't PB'd in the second half of this entire hour. I did get a really good run in very early on, which was near triple best split at the time. So really, I shouldn't be too mad because this was a really, really good run when I set it. A 127.339, definitely something I can be proud of. Let's see where it puts me in the leaderboard though. So here we are on the leaderboard, and uh, you can see my current PB, 126.663, that's my real PB I have here, um, is in the top 10 and is 9 foot wide, but the run I just got is a little bit further down, um, all the way here in 35th foot wide, um, beating Kira, uh, Kizaragi. Um, with a 127.345, I have a 0.339, so I'm just 2 milliseconds behind Grand. And I feel like there was so much more potential to maybe get into the top 20 or something. I'm losing to three Germans, that hurts a little bit. But honestly, I don't mind. I think I still did pretty well here. But yeah, that's it for this episode. I tried to edit this one a little bit longer than my last one because I did ask you guys for some feedback and you said you prefer the longer episodes. So I'm trying to do just that with this episode right here. I don't know how long it's going to be. I mean, you will know because you watched the video, but I think like somewhere around the 20 to 30 minute mark is what I'm aiming for. And yeah, so I hope you guys like that. Um, again, apologies for being a little bit sick and not being super energetic today. I tried my best, but I um, hope you enjoyed the episode regardless. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And as always, if you want, you can always check out my Twitch. It is um, on screen right now and also in the description. Um, I try to stream my card there as often as I can. I would appreciate it a lot. And with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Take care and goodbye.